Okay, I think we are on air. Welcome to another episode of Tom Plays. And this evening we have the privilege, privilege of playing Pong Quest. Quite excited about this one. Um, just for transparency, this game has been provided for us by, by Atari. And uh, for the purposes of, of streaming and sharing this game with you. Uh, for for non-biased opinion and all. Um, so, without further ado, we shall we shall crack on. I'm just making sure that um, the video's online and we're streaming. We are, and I will be. Uh, I've got the chat here, so feel free to message me. And without further ado, we'll we'll crack into Pong Quest. Local classic mode. I think we shall just start with some local classic mode, I think. I know there's some multiplayer modes on this as well. Oh, local classic mode. We can't play computer player, can we? No, we won't do that. Uh, because this game does have a single player experience. Opponent Trevor attacks. Let's have a practice battle. Well, here we go. This is cool. I like Pong. This is your opponent. I think I've uh, got that one. This is the ball. Wow, for those who never played Pong at all, here's your tutorial. Health by every time the ball, you, you will lose some health. Oh, that's a bit different. Eleanor switch between balls. Oh, and that. Okay. Now we are getting a bit different. What's this? This is a curve ball. Hit a bubble. To obtain a new ball time. Oh no! Oh dear. Okay, okay, we can do this. I've I've played Pong before. I know what I'm I know what I'm doing. When you when you or your enemy reach critical health, the match must be finished by scoring one final goal. Okay. I like the personality in, in the actual Pong paddle. We got a bit of character. This one's critical. Finish them off now. Oh. Advantage. Zip ball. We've got a Oh, so zip ball's a little bit faster, I think. Done. Dusted. Bravo, what a magnificent show that was. We've got a new rising star on our hands. Am I right, sir? Pongs a lot. Pongs a lot. Ooh, dear. They're not too stinky. King Pong. Round with King Pong. <laughs> like the little voices. Get yourself dressed for the adventure. Oh wow! Well, my favourite colour is yellow, so we're going to have a yellow pong character. Ah, this is excellent. This is just getting right on with it. I like very much thus far. Blue is my other favourite colour. Yellow and blue, my favourite colour combination. I'm wearing yellow. You may be able to see in that tiny window. Uh, and when I get it up chance I'm gonna mess with the uh it's gonna give me one second. Just fixing this up. Okay. Back in Glasses. Oh, 
Okay, so sorry about the audio level at the minute. I haven't had an opportunity to change it. So I... Hopefully that's saved. What I want to do is just mess around with these options a little. Because I'm a little bit concerned you wouldn't have been able to hear me. Okay. Can you hear me? I hope you can hear me okay now. So we're going to bump, jump, bump or jump back into the quest mode. It's great that that's saved actually. <laughs> Look at this guy. Training dun 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 dungeon. I'll explore all the nooks and crannies. This is a bit like Zelda now, isn't it? Oh, so it's not random battles. It's sort of like... It's like Pokemon. God, I've got to get better at this. Alright, oh, I didn't really do much there. I love the uh, lovely bit of animation here. So yes, um, this is from Atari, of course. The originators of the Pong. And it's a brand new take on the Pong formula. I like the idea, I like the concept of this. Oh, wow. I've got a be He's got an unfortunate shaped head. Um, not good enough money for these. I can get this apron. Hmm. Chest lock in a small key. I'm actively seeking out people to battle with. This is a zip ball. Oh no, got me. Should we try the bouncy ball and see what that does? I assume it makes it a bit more bouncier. <laughs> I really like the speed of this, actually. Because that's my big problem with RPGs. They're a little slow. This, on the other hand, has a lovely pace that I appreciate very much. It's Tom versus Matt. Tom and Matt attack. Nicely done. Manage your balls. Okay, so you decide what ball you're going into the um, the battle with. That's that's interesting. I like this little map down the bottom right to see what rooms you've been in, and I can see that we didn't go this way. What's the mushroom do, I wonder? Give you some coins. Chest. So you need to drop one of the balls in order to to pick up two balls at one time. So if we drop this one, then Yes, we have to press X to select the ball. We've got the squash ball now. We'll try that next time we come across. There's almost too many balls when you've only got space for two. Two balls is usually enough, but in this case, uh, it'll be nice to be able to have a few more. Sure. Remember the sequence of sound and the lights and crack. Uh, oh, sure do, yeah. 
Okay. Can we remember the sequence? Yeah. And we get some goodies. So what we probably should do... Buff ball. Okay. I don't know what that one is. I assume you can come back and pick those up. Okay, so we've exhausted possibilities there. Ah, there was a little door. Oh. Too little of a door. I like the way this uh, pong paddle bounces. Look at that. Woo hee! Ah, it wasn't a door, it's was probably a, a window. Mimic Annie attacks. I like these names. Let's try the buff ball. Oh, so you have to select. I was changing to balls, but wasn't selecting them properly. So you have to actually press X on the ball. Right, there you go. You know, Pong's a simple concept. I like how this hasn't made it too overly complex. Hello, mate. Potion ball. Ah, that heals you. You know what's nice about this game is it gives you more motivation to play Pong. There's a reason why you're having these matches. It's not just for fun, but obviously you're leveling up as well, which I quite like. Okay. What this looks interesting. I'm not sure why that is. Okay, I feel we're running out of options here. Places we can go. My health is a little low. I guess here, here we start thinking about potions. Maybe if I drop that and I can pick up the potion ball and we can start healing him. Hmm. Strategies already uh, coming into play. So we can't go that way. I can't recall having picked up a boss key. Ah, you, yeah, you can get into the start menu now from here. We still need that boss key. I think I just experienced a bit of a lightning here where I am. Big flash. Unless someone's taking a photo of me. Okay, we're just going to go into the boss. He's a big guy. Yeah, proper thunder here. Wow. Are you experiencing thunder where you are? Certainly here in West London we are. Potion ball on. Oh. I have to use the mimic ball. Got a nice speed on that one. This mimic board just mimics what the opponent's using. Once they've used it, I'm not sure. 
Nice music on this. Level 3! That's what you want, an extra inventory slot. Well, I'm going to come out right out and say this. This is a very good first impression for uh, Pong Quest for me. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, that was just sort of the uh, the training, so. <laughs> it's got humour. It's got plenty of character. Check it out. I'm assuming it's lots of uh, dungeons. At least they look a bit different. What we got here? Fancy ball. Can we pick this one up too? Buff ball. Okay. I am very much liking this uh, soundtrack. Ah, it's these lights. I think we can remember. Yeah, yeah. Can we swap one of these out? That looks like it's a... Um, ball but it's not. Wow it really gets stormy here. Why is thunder so spooky? Raindrop earrings. Potion. I like potion balls. I've decided this. Ricochet also sounds quite fun. Come on, let's have a battle. Oh. No one wants to battle. Feels like um, I'm watching uh, a flash video from Newgrounds or something. Oh, I can say I didn't need a po I do need a potion ball now. Oh, come on. Buff ball. Ah, the ricochet ball. That's that's pretty that's pretty good that one. I wonder how long this story mode is, because this is the bulk of the game, isn't it? I know there's uh, multiplayer uh, games too, but... Damage him, I guess, if it hits him. That's the idea of that. The buff ball is pretty effective. Boom, boom. Ooh. Straight into another battle. that uh, potion. 
You know, if you're going to bring back Pong, I'm really glad they've taken this direction with it. It's something a bit different. It's a good idea, I think, and it seems to be well implemented. You really have the choice which balls you want to use. It doesn't just automatically select it and assume you're going to want to use it. I guess that's probably quite a good idea. Try this barrier ball. Ah, oh, really? I'm, I'm not great at this, am I? Whoa, that's fast. <laughs> this one's, yeah, getting a bit tricky, this one. Can we concentrate? Ah, oh, that that was cutting it fine, I think. If we get the opportunity, f do we get a potion ball? Yeah. Woo boo ba doo da boo boo. We haven't explored some of these rooms yet. Oh no! Okay, potion ball. Oh. I say that barrier ball might come in handy. Plenty of ruffians down here. Okay. Wow, I thought we were gonna. I thought we were finished then. Mousy. Sue Rat Helen attacks. The actual battle music's quite uh, catchy, actually. It's quite iconic. Mm. Memorable. Oh! Even just touching the ball does take off some health. I guess so matches don't go on forever. Ball. Nice, if I do say so myself. Oh, two. And we see that these dungeons are split up slightly. Without battling any enemies. Hmm. Oh, well. 
Yeah. Oh, close. Very easily done that. Just missing the ball completely. Well, I might as well just fight everyone now. Gets the level up. Zip ball work. Coco ball. I'm not really sure what. Coco ball seems quite slow. Oh. The only thing I say is a little bit of a learning curve is remembering to select the type of ball by pressing X because I don't know for some reason just highlighting it feels like it should be enough to select it but I can see why it's done like this oh dear I'm gonna die at this right It doesn't make it more difficult, I think, to remember to select it. But I think those potion power-ups appear just to give you a bit of a helping hand. Unless you're terrible like I am and keep missing the ball. Oh no! Game over? What happens when you get a game over, I wonder? You have to start the whole dungeon again. You've done the training dungeon. Oh, you can just pick up where you left off. Okay, not much consequence to that one. Getting. Always worth getting the potion balls. It's a wobba. I do need that potion ball now. Not now though. Fast one. See if the buff ball can help us. It's very easy to understand. There seems to be a lot of different options with these uh, with the balls. Let's try the plunder ball. Not the thunder ball, but the plunder ball. Doo -ba -doo -boo, doo -boo. Who are you? Oh. Oh, it's not Swagbag Allison. Nice names. What I like about this is that the random, not the random battles, but the battles are, uh, you know, require a proper action skill game. Uh, I'm not saying RPGs are bad because they often have some sort of turn-based battles, although not anymore because most seem to be uh, real-time, but I, I really enjoy that kind of... Pong is a great game in itself, so playing Pong every time you um, 
come across an enemy, it doesn't feel like a chore at all. It feels really fun. As it should do. Fire... Fireball into the goal. Oh gosh, I don't know if I can manage that, but I'll try. Alright, I see. Actually, it's pretty simple. Dupe. Batman. In a suit. Let's try what the plunder ball does. Oh, well, it worked. Maybe gets you more treasures, I think. More spoils when you... Uh... Getting um, trophies left, right and centre, eh? that potion. Oh, potions very uh, synonymous with RPGs. Let's just get this dude. I'm actually looking for the battles. I don't really want to avoid them because they're quite fun. the leech borders probably takes health off them and gives it to you should it hit them Didn't really get to use it properly there If they keep using heal balls, then yeah, it will go on a bit longer. Buff ball should do the trick if it hits him. No? Yeah, I'm still not sure what the zip ball does, really. <laughs> Barrier ball is a fun power-up as well. It's like Pokemon. Well, with any RPG, you've got a range of attacks. Basically, when you change your uh, ball, that is just using a different attack against your enemy. And effectively is turn based as well. So I think it's a very clever idea this. Very clever. Oh the war ball. Oh yeah. Oh, use a curveball. Wow. Oh, that's fast. We did it though. Nice. Okay, so we can have four in inventory slots now. We probably need to think about having some more of the potion balls, I think. Steal the items with the pl ah, you steal items with the plunder ball. I guess that makes perfect sense. So we'll pick up a few more of these potion balls. Always come in handy. 
At least we can see on our map now that we can pop to that area that we haven't visited yet. This is the kind of soundtrack you want on vinyl, isn't it? Break all the bricks within the time limit. Oh, wow, okay. It's like breakout now. Although I can't see the time limit because I think the, uh, the camera video is covering up. Which would mean you can't see it either. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we can do this in time. Ooh, not quite. Soundtrack's got a nice sort of retro aesthetic to it, especially here. Oh my. I lost. Oh, I see how that works. Another clever little idea. Hello, hero. I mean, that's your prayers. Perform with me a task. I'll offer you the power of medicine. All right. Let's restore ball. So if I drop that, I can then get this. Okay. I wonder how restore ball works. Is it similar to uh Ah it's through his health, so it's probably a full heal. Yes. We're well, getting up these levels a little bit. I think it's worth doing all the, the battles, really. Dude, dude. up here. Yeah, fight the mouse. Oh, I don't miss that. Whoa. Oops. Concentrate. I think we're doing all right. Woohoo! What we got over here then? Feisty fellow. Good old trusty buff ball. I think it's also a perfect game to play on the go as well, so there's a Switch version of this. And I think it's also very well suited to the Switch. And so it plays fantastically on PS4 as well. But I feel like sometimes I'd also like to play portable. I think I could spend a lot of time on this. Similar to something like um, I would on Cat Quest. I really got into Cat Quest. I'm not a big RPG kind of guy, but I played a lot of Cat Quest on my uh, Switch for a quite a while. I can see me playing this in a similar way that I used to play that. Oh, 
Oh. I can see how this could get a lot more difficult later on as the uh, opponents get tougher. He's on the standard difficulty level at the moment. When he gets fast. Yeah. Oh. It's hard. Nice. I wonder how going up in level, does it increase your health? Does it? In yeah, you get options, don't you, to increase health when you get the up, go up a level. I feel like we need to find a way out of here now. What was this way? Ning, 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 ning. Of course, I can't forget to pick up all these. Do, 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 do. This is what we were missing. Boo ba dee boo. All oh, right. Next part of the dungeon, I presume. Map out every room. Yeah. So it's, that's, that's essentially a little side quest. Oh, we got enough cash. I think without playing this, it's hard to decide whether or not it's something that you necessarily want to go for. Uh, of course, those who love Pong will be tempted to pick it up, but those who feel Pong's dated, perhaps, uh, might not necessarily uh, take a chance on this. And I think they'd be they'd be missing out because this is more than just Pong. You know, you've got this level of strategy with the uh, different types of balls here and the health meter and, and then this whole leveling up system too customizing your character yeah it all comes together really well Of the vortex, I presume. Yeah, it's just a good little. Um, I kind of want to say time waster, but it's fun. It really is. You know, you're progressing through um, the dungeons and the levels, so you do feel like you're making some progress. It's pong with purpose. It's perhaps. Um, what I'd say. Pong with purpose. I'll coin that I'll coin that phrase today. It sounds kinda good, doesn't it? And very easy to pick up and understand. But essentially it is Pong.
I'm guessing I decided not to go on the black screen here because of some of the colours the characters wear. And they probably don't wear this particular kind of brownie maroon colour. Or maybe that's just based on the type of dungeon it is, because it's like a it's the same colour as the dungeon background basically. I love the simple design. Classic Pong satisfaction. Do, 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 do. This is quite a big, expansive dungeon, this one. Oh! You can sort of curve it. Well, it's the curveball, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, the curveball's a, a tricky one, isn't it? Try the bouncy ball. The little tree is a nice touch when you uh, score a point. Oh no! I was doing so well in that dungeon as well. I thought I was making some real progress. Okay, we're back. Oh, does it remember the map? No, it doesn't. I guess you then are fighting all the enemies. Okay. Hopefully the dungeons aren't too long because that could be a bit chore if you die and have to replay a long area again. But suppose you're leveling up so essentially things should be getting easier. I could dodge all these, but... Okay, I'm just trying to explore this a bit. Essentially, we don't really need to battle them again because we've already battled them once. We've already got that uh, XP, unless you don't lose your XP, I don't think. Wow, that's a sly one. Could do with some potions, can I? What's this? Do 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 it's quite, it can be quite easy to dodge the enemies. Try and map out this dungeon for him. <gasps> Potion ball. <laughs> well, Wasn't any avoiding that one. Ding 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 ding. 
charming game. I really wanted that potion then. So with the plunder ball, I'll get some of his power-ups. Yeah. Nice bit of strategy there. Boop a dee boop boop boom boop 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 Okay, we've got to be super careful here, because we are on our last legs. That was as close as it could have got there. That was a panic. Ooh, more power ups. Potion. light up the whole grid. Oh, I'm not sure the logic of this puzzle. Well done. So far, there's too many mistakes. So, hmm, okay. Gotta do this fast, I think. Nice. What a big dungeon this is. I need to. Oh no. This is serious now. Hardly any health. There's a potion there. I could have actually done with that going on a bit longer to heal him a bit more. Opal orb, I think that's maybe what we're after. Small key. I really want to get the reward. dodging these guys. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that was tricky. Oh, I should have healed a bit there. I need leveling up a bit slower now. Basically, you got like four attacks. If you can have four things at a time, you've got four attacks that you can do in the in the pong game. Oh yeah, I have to battle him to get down here. That should be a good opportunity to heal. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Whoa! I think anyone who appreciates video games is going to have a good time with this. Okay, so this is a bit we haven't been in yet. I'll get that potion. Oh, he did. Yeah, that bounce um, curveball is tricky. Of course, if I had one of the plunder balls, I could potentially take that potion. Very nice. Okay, I might have opened every room now. So if I can find one of those explorers, I can't remember where they are. Oh dear. I guess the triangular ball just bounces a little differently. I feel like I need to complete this dungeon soon because I'm running out of the, uh, the old health here. Yes! I did it! Is this leading me to the next part of the dungeon? Yeah, and you get your health back. That's good. A lot of enemies. Quite a long dungeon, this one, compared to the, the other. I guess the first was just training, so... I wonder when we'll uh, meet the, the boss. I like having some context though and some uh, purpose to playing Pong because a lot of Pong games just give you Pong to play and it's nice it's been presented this way because it gives you just more of an incentive to keep keep going with it. Oh yeah, if you get in within a certain vicinity. Oh, 
Oh no! I'm just missing out on that potion here. You got it. I needed that wall then. Yes. Boom, 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 ba -do -do -do. Surprised we haven't found the boss room yet. It's like Zelda, isn't it? we can make our way through this. isn't going so good. That did though. Nearly level seven. Oh. Power-ups are good, aren't they? I think. It's a good selection of power-ups. Some I still don't know how they work, but overall I kind of get getting the gist of them. That oh, that's bad. That creature. Oh no, we got no health. Shucks. This is concerning. No, not a buff ball. Oh, he healed himself. Cheeky. Oh, well, we didn't quite make it, but I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there for this evening. I'm really impressed with this game. I think it's certainly worth your time. Uh, I have a lot of enjoyment out of it. I've been playing it for an hour now, and uh, I can see myself playing this a lot more. So here we see how far we are through the game. That's interesting and how many different things there are to get. That's cool, you see your records and customize the character. So all those things you pick up, I could give him some sunglasses now, make him look super cool. Different kind of outfits. Ah, this is Mario. I wonder if we can do a sort of Mario. Can you have a hat? Like a Mario one? Which is red. Uh, well, for now we could give him a red crash helmet. <laughs> what about accessories? What about moustache? Can we get the moustache? You can get a tash. Not the right colour, but... Okay, nice update. Uh, yeah, I think all this is very charming. And of course, we, I feel like we've only just really scratched the surface of it, because that's the quest mode. Local battle mode, this is your one-on-one 
Pong, that's your classic style, so without the characters, I guess. Online mode, quest journal. Okay, yeah, that's you. Stats, everything. So I don't know, there's definitely more sort of mini games and such, because I've heard, I've heard about that. I don't know if that's only in online mode. I'm ready. Okay. We just see if anyone's playing online, see if we can uh, get a match before we end the stream. Of course, it's only been released fairly recently. It's jazzy music here, it's sort of elevator, hold music. When you're stuck in this sort of online lobby limbo. And I am wearing shorts, by the way, in case anyone thought I was wearing uh, just my underpants during the stream, because it, it does look incredibly like that, I, I have realised. So no, I do not stream in underpants, I'm wearing shorts, because for the most part today it's been pretty sunny. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, I think, but thanks very much for taking the time to watch this. Uh, it is Pong Quest, it's available on all major formats. And yeah, I definitely suggest giving it a look in. And uh, that's it for now, so thanks again for watching, and until I see you again for another Tom Plays, it's goodbye and game on. <laughs>